Growing up in New England, I followed all the Boston sports teams, but the Celtics were my favorite. By the time I was 11, they had won 10 championships. Red Auerbach was their coach, but Bill Russell was the team's leader. My dad called Bill a player coach. He led the team on the court. I learned early, you don't need a title to lead. My dad also taught me how to lead. He's a humble man who served our country and won awards from those he led. Growing up, Dad was recognized for always putting other people first. When the governor thanked Dad for helping people with disabilities get better jobs, Dad was showing me again, how you lead matters. Today, real success in business looks like what the Celtics did year after year. In sports, it's called repeat championships. In business, it's called sustainable growth. Having worked in startups and multinationals in different industries, I know there are ways for any company to achieve that growth. The key is employees need to be able to achieve it too. We must help them unlock their power. That's my job. Adversity hits all organizations, and the question is not whether you will hit adversity, it's what do you do after you've hit adversity. How do I create environments where people can bring up their best? We create organizations where everybody brings their A game every day. What do you feel? How do you think? How do you speak? How do you write? How do you act? You line that up and you are powerful. Everyone is at their best when they feel powerful. That's why this stuff matters. The fact that he was just able to keep 750 students focused, especially because when we have other guests, they just don't have it in them. I don't know what it was, but I feel like people were really connecting to what Rick had to say today. I think that was phenomenal, and I don't know that I've really ever seen someone of that elite status deliver that presently. Be really here and focused with his audience. Three words, what do you think? Today's class was very interesting. I'd like to give you more than three words, though. I, I'm sorry, I have to. <laughs> this man is doing what he wants to help the world. I enjoyed what he said today. Does hard work and hard work alone say that you'll be successful? Hell no. They're connecting what they do to who they are. They're passionate. They love what they're doing. I love those people. Think about what you need to do. Who you need to be. As a salesperson, you learn that what you say better be connected with what you do because that's your credibility. It's critical to your success. Once you figure out where you stand, take one and you will feel power. What power do you get when you know who you are? An engaged employee group starts to delight customers, believes in themselves, and then starts to earn client loyalty. Anyone in your organization influences everyone in your organization. It's about sustainable growth. Can you get your employees to step up, exceeding customer expectations to drive sustainable growth?